Welcome back for one final segment here on the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain. We shift our attention from football to volleyball. Of course, the Rams have another outstanding season and they are led by four excellent seniors. And for more on that, we send it to Alana Curtis. With 23 NCAA appearances, 14 Mountain West Conference titles, and 12 All-Americans, the CSU volleyball program is the most dominant in Ram history. If you would have asked me when I came in as a freshman what my life would look like right now, it would be nowhere close to where it is. At the core of this season's team are four seniors. Three of them were preseason all-conference picks, and after leading the nation in blocks per set last season, Megan Ford was named an All-American. Four years ago, I would never have thought that I'm in the place I am now. My freshman year, I was hitting right side, and there was um, a couple of senior starters in front of me, so I wasn't playing that much at all. And then I had some issues with my shoulder, so I ended up doing a medical red shirt, which was probably the best choice for me that I could have done. Megan just so good, you know? Well, if she wasn't there, it would be a lot harder to defend. So I'm glad I have her on my team and she's on somebody else's team because she does some real damage. She pushes me and I feel like I push her. So it's great to have that um, challenging aspect in the games, you know, in practice. We're constantly working hard uh, to compete with each other. It's been fun to grow together and she's become an amazing player and she's a very, very good friend of mine. Megan and Brianna are just such great athletes and Brianna is just so much fun to watch. She just does that, that little head nod like, yeah, I did that. You know, it's just so great because it's so easy to play with that kind of energy. Plurid and Paige, both middle blockers, signed in 2008 and registered at their first season. Cranston and Galia arrived as true freshmen in 2009. Dana is kind of like my go-to. Um, we came in together in our freshman year. We battled it out for a spot. So we kind of, you know, went through everything together. And, you know, and she's right there with me on the court, too, like trying to get people pumped up when things are not going well and we're getting quiet. She's like, hey, we got to put this up. A hard worker, super competitive, and, you know, always thinking of ways that she can not only make herself better, but the rest of the team too. Izzy's awesome. She's just a really goofy, funny, funny girl, and she lost her voice this last weekend, so she's very vocal too, and it's always good to have her on the court because she's very energetic and she brings a lot to the team, and she's an amazing defensive player. I live with Izzy, and she's one of my best friends throughout my whole life. So her relationship with me, we're like, we always joke around and uh, jokes never end. Right after the punchline, we continue them on for the next five minutes. So. With their wide range of abilities, it seems like the four seniors could have ended up anywhere. But they say that more than anything else, it was the sense of family that brought them here and kept them here. Tom really pushes like the culture of the team and what we want our experience to be like and what we want our family to be like here. You know, we play together really well, and that's because we work really well off the court, too. We're great friends. You know, we're always trying to help each other, and I feel like that's really important, and the rest of the girls, like, need to see that. I love playing with these, like, good players because they make me better, and I hope that I make them better. You know, it's, in the end, like, you, you have to want to be good. You have to want to play with the best to be the best. So that's why I wanted to come here. After the season is finished, they want to leave behind more than just the banners they helped raise at Moby Arena. I want to leave here putting my teammates in the best situation for next year. Um, as people, as players, as friends, um, as anything that can be. All right, Alana, thank you so much. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you to head coach Jim McElwain, of course, bronze medalist Janae Deloach. For everyone, I'm Brian Roth. We'll see you next time right here on the Rain Report. <laughs>